This video is actually all about part two of your color scheme watercolor project. For part two of this assignment, you will need some scissors, you will need a pencil, and then you will need an index card if you have one. This is the big index card. Now, if you don't have an index card, which a lot of you probably don't, there are some other things you can use. If you have a sketchbook, the paper that comes in the sketchbook is a nice, heavy, sort of thick paper, and that's gonna work best. If you don't have the sketchbook, then maybe you have some cardstock paper at your house. Um, go look through the junk mail that comes in your mailbox and see if there's anything in there that's kind of a heavier, thicker paper. The reason you don't wanna use really thin paper is that today we're making a stencil that you're gonna trace. And it's just a little bit easier if you have some heavier paper. Now, if you're using your sketchbook, I would use a scrap sheet that you don't need anymore and, and use the back of it. So I might cut out this part. But it needs to be something that is at least as big as your hand because we don't want to make a tiny stencil. We want it to be a decently big stencil. So go find some scissors, a pencil, and some sort of paper that's as thick as you can find it. All right, now here I've come up with some ideas. I've done some thumbnail sketches. I'm gonna make an acorn. And I kinda like the one that's sort of like more pointy at the bottom rather than the round one. So now this index card right here, this note card, uh, it's one of the big ones. It's already about as big as my hand. So the drawing that I make on here, I wanna make it big enough that it touches at least three sides of this index card. So when I draw my acorn, I'm gonna need to draw it kinda big. So there's my kind of egg shape, and then the top of it, I'm going to give it a little stem out the top. Okay, so there's the basics of it. Alright, so I'm not going to be able to have any of the interior lines or details or textures, but we're going to see the outside shape of it, the silhouette. All right, so there's my design, there's my shape. Now I'm gonna cut it out. If your shape is too small, then all of the rest of the steps of this project are going to be more difficult for you. You can do it, for sure, but you're probably going to regret it because the tiny shapes take a lot longer to cut out and it's a lot harder to complete the assignment with a smaller shape than with a larger one. So make your life easier and make a larger shape. You want one that's about the size of your hand. There's my acorn. It's about the size of my hand. So your goal is to cut out a shape. It's about the size of your hand. No interior lines or textures, just the silhouette of it. So here's your goal. One shape that's simple, with no inside lines, make sure it's about as big as your hand. For today's assignment in Schoology, you're going to want to cut out your stencil, and then you are going to take a picture that looks like this to put into the assignment. I just wanna see the shape next to your hand so I have a decent idea of how big the shape is that you cut out because if it's too small, it's not gonna work and you're probably not gonna get a great grade for it and you'll wanna go back and remake one that's larger because a tiny shape doesn't work very well. 